Olympia Stadium. Who would have thought when the Premiership started that the big clubs would be turning people away? It's just the ticket for those who can get in. And the fact that the price against Arsenal for the Championship has come in recently from 10 to 1 to 7 to 2 just reflects that we could be watching the most exciting title race for years. Well, the defenders in Arsenal's unchanged team know all about winning championships. Five of the back six were medal winners here in 1989. The average age of that section of the team is over 33. The three injured absentees, Seaman, Keown and Bergkamp, should all be fit when Arsenal play again in two weeks' time. Talking of veterans, Derby's Paul McGrath, the oldest man on the field today, was 37 on Wednesday. Manager of the month, Jim Smith, welcomes back Chris Powell on the left side of his defence and hopes that the creative Croatian, Asanovic, can pit his wits successfully against Arsenal's Vieira. Stimats has joined the attack on this side. Ashley Ward... Oh, good turn by Sturridge. That was fine football. It's really come to the fore in the last 18 months, Dean Sturridge. 20 league goals last season when Derby won promotion. For the rebound, the whistle's gone. Flag up on the far side for offside at some stage. Ward holds his head because it was his shot that ricocheted off the bar. But two Derby players, I think, collided heads here in going for the rebound. There's the shot, away from Lukic, off the bar, doesn't cross the line. Now watch the two Derby players go in. It's Daryl Powell and Sturridge, and there's a nasty collision as both went for the same ball. And Jim's... Away by McGrath from Hartson's cross. Oh, Ian Wright nearly. Then Vieira, Merson not quite, appeals for Hans against Hartson. Whose shot is fielded anyway by Holt. Referee flick. Oh, it was a nice idea. Didn't really have time to control it, so he tried to just loft it round Linnigan and over Lukic. And uh, Ward was the supplier, but it was a good enough effort from Sturridge. That's the best effort of the half from Arsenal. And it comes from a wing back. Corner to Arsenal. Bold in the near post area. Here comes Adams. They're going to stay in there now. Oh, Adams came round the back. And Arsenal have taken the lead. And it's the captain right on half time. What a very good position he found. And how well directed was the header from Tony Adams. Paul Merson is out on the left there with a very, very good cross. Righted it perfectly. The Derby defenders are standing watching this because here comes Adams. He's crept round the back. Nobody marked him. Russell Holt couldn't have got the right hand to that. And in the last minute of the first half, Tony Adams puts his side in front. Well, the half ends with the crowd singing the old... Ditty, 1-0 to the Arsenal, it's courtesy of Tony Adams. Get that, because this is Derby on the attack with Flynn. Into Ward. Turned against Adams, found Sturridge. Darrell Powell comes up far side. And it might run on here for Stimats. Lively attack. Powell. Sturridge at the back, needs help, oh Ward, just came at him so quick and he was very close to Sturridge, couldn't direct it really, very well, came inside brilliantly, oh I say what a goal, that's a fantastic goal by Sturridge, he runs across to the Derby fans and they'll be looking at that one on the videos over and over again, Dean Sturridge for Derby, out of practically nowhere, has scored a spectacular equaliser. Well, he made it himself, no question about that. His collection of the ball initially was uh, very clever. He went cleanly past Adams, struck it on the move, and it thumped against the bar and came down over the line. Well... 
Sturridge may only have scored five now this season, but he is Derby's leading scorer, and that must be the best of them. The last game here before Christmas for Arsenal. That's Hartson to Dixon. And again. Tony Adams moves forward to help. And it's Hartson again, three in the middle. Adams. Platt. Merson's in there. Good stop by Russell Holt. Oh, well played by Asanovic, has found Ward. Sturridge again, saved by Lukic, and driven in, Powell, Daryl Powell, and Derby are in front, what a turnaround at Highbury, it's Chris Powell who gets the first cross in, Sturridge the near post header, Lukic left hand, can only parry it out, and Daryl Powell smashes it back in the net, and Derby County have come from a goal behind here to snatch the lead against the league leaders. Sturridge was lively again there, taking on Steve Bold and Vieira. Look at this. And they've got a spare man, Derby County, here. It's Ward. And if he could have just edged that on to Daryl Powell, he would have been in for a... He's just acknowledging that, Ashley Ward. Big... He finds Paul Shaw. And this is David Platt. Arsenal need to find fresh momentum here. This is Winterburn. Adams joins the attack in the centre. Right comes short. Dummy for Hartson. Pass back to right, not quite strong enough. Nearly. And every time Arsenal's attack breaks down now, Derby seem to have a spare man. This is Sturridge. He's inside now, he's got Daryl Powell in a good position, but it's still Sturridge, and an even better position was Ashley Ward. And Derby again have really passed up a chance to go 3-1 there. This is Merson. If I was Jim Smith at the moment, I'd be thinking that... Despite... Right there as well, and flat! The flag's up, the flag's up on the far side. I don't think it's going to count for Arsenal. The assistant referee on the far side was flagging Grant Hegley. And there was somebody offside in there. It's Shaw who plays the ball in. Now that it's Ian Wright, I think, who made the first contact before Platt put it in the net. I think it was Wright who was offside. And just for a split second, what uh, the Arsenal fans thought was the second goal. Just got that across to Lee Dixon. There's Bold, here's Merson, Vieira, Hartson, and it still wouldn't go for Arsenal. <laughs> well, we're in the 90th minute, it's a storming finish to this game. Bold in the near post area, Platt goes in just behind him. And again, those white-shirted defenders rise heroically in front of Bold and behind him. This is Merson. And it's Adams. And Vieira! 2-2 this time. Patrick Vieira. His first goal for Arsenal, the Frenchman. And what a time for it to come. It was right on 90 minutes when this happened. Tony Adams, a brilliant cutback from the line. And it comes out for Vieira to strike for a crowd of players. Whether it gets a touch as John Hartson falls in with the defenders, I'm not entirely sure. It's 2-2, and Arsenal would appear to have saved a point in the nick of time here. But Derby haven't given up yet, it's Ward. And here they come again, the league leaders. Well, they still will be if they draw. Here's Merson. And here's right. Chance and he's missed it. Derby have got everybody back. 
and the whistle blow. What a cracking finish here. It's 2-2. Two -two. And you've got to say, honour is satisfied all round. Patrick Vieira saves a point for the league leaders in the 90th minute. Adams, the never say die spirit, really telling at the end of each half for Arsenal, the captain. He scored one and made one. But in between, Derby County just proving their premiership capabilities and credibility. Congratulations for Sturridge, who scored one of their goals and made the other from Ian Wright. And there's no question here that Derby mean business in this top division. It's Arsenal 2, Derby County 2.